Welcome to the Do Better Podcast. I'm your host, Theodore Cooper, Theo Cooper. Short, we are back with another video, this time from The Godfather. Mr. Samuels talked to two young ladies, and I think both these young ladies have a similar problem, and that's a bit of arrested development. Unfortunately, it seems like a lot of women in our community haven't really grown up, and I think these two next calls are evidence in that. Let's get to it. Hello? Yeah. Hello, how are you? She's hey. dusty as fuck. How are you? How are you? I'm doing fine. How old are you? Oh, I'm 30. What is your criticism or critique? Um, like she said, that you always putting black women down. This, did a black woman hurt you or something? I mean, I understand. Yeah, so we've got, we've got, we've got all the insults out of the way. So let's get to the conversation. Okay? Sign language. You just don't, just don't worry about insults. Stay. Okay. Your own conversation. Can you do that? Yeah, I can do that. All right. I'm holding that though. Well, but we don't do that. See, I've already addressed all your insults that you could have. Who hurt you? Your mama, your mama black, you gay. Let, we've got all that out of the table. Let's get to the grown stuff, okay? Now that we have the insult and all the shaming language out of the way, let's see if she's actually able to have a coherent conversation with an adult. Let's see if she can accomplish that. Why do you think that, that it should no, be no, 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 Why do you think that it should be? Okay, one rule, don't over time. Let's get to the grown stuff. Your, your critique is I always put black women down. Yeah. How often have you been watching my content? Um, maybe a few months. So you have not seen any videos to where I, I say anything nice about black women? Mm, no. How many times did you watch my videos a week? Well, see, the first time I ever watched it, you was putting a black woman down. So I'm to me right there, that automatically, that, that, that ruined it. Ma'am, ma'am, that's what oh, you man. watch is not my responsibility. Oh, I'm going to No. <laughs> you know she's single as French toast. I don't. I don't. So, okay, okay. I'm just asking. I don't know if you're married to single. I didn't ask that question. No, I'm okay. Thinking. So I want to know if you've been watching me for a couple months, and that happened this year. Okay. How you over? How you can tend to overlook that? And it's all over my platform. Because when I when you no, go I'm live, saying, man, that's what not what you're talking about, about though. When you, you go live, you're not that. talking about that, Kevin. When you what go do you live, have to say about you're that. About that. What do you? I have mean, to that's say outstanding. About that? That's that's good for now, but that's not what you're always talking about. For now, you as a black woman I should be in a black woman's team. Talk about what women come up to talk about. Do I? See, this is the problem. You ladies want to have a narrative. When I show you something that counteracts it, you don't even say, you know what? Maybe I was wrong. Do you think maybe you could be wrong? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. No, you're wrong. Just a little bit. Maybe just a little bit. I'll give you, I'll give you maybe 10%. Yeah, 10% maybe I could be wrong. But the other 90%, no, because... The things that I hear you say that we should automatically be listening to what the black man said. It's not our fault that they took the black man out of the house. No, that's not our fault. Is it our Who's place to put him back in the house? Hold on. Yeah. Oh, okay, stop, no. stop, 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 stop. Who took the black man out of the house? The white man took the black man out of the house. No, he didn't. Not the black man. No, I mean, not us, but the, the white me, man. Excuse me. Excuse me. No, he didn't. Black, 75% divorce rate, eight, divorces by the 80% rate by our women. That ain't a white man's name on the divorce decree. 
Facts. No, but man, we would have lost. We would have lost married people. We would have married like eighty percent prior to nineteen sixty-five. And there's no white. If the white people couldn't break us apart in chattel slavery, Jim Crow, segregation, all, but what did was feminism in college. How many children? Do you have? I don't have any children. Okay. So, okay, so again, you're sitting back saying what I don't. I talk to women every day, right. and I respond to what they say. Okay. Okay. So, so he ain't gonna be here. Oh, okay. Well, I heard that as well. She she's got somebody in the background feeding her info. And that's when you know you weak. You shouldn't be having a conversation if you need somebody to be feeding you talking points. So basically, you said because Shirley always back there doing something. I'm just saying, <laughs> y'all, y'all always want to, to say somebody that dislike y'all, like you don't have anything to do with this, like you don't have anything to do with it. Women like that woman are perpetual victims. Mm. In order for their lives to make sense. You and I have to be at fault. Somebody had to do something to her. Yeah, y'all heard the smoke detector? <laughs> I mean, I'm really waiting to have an honest criticism. I just don't like that you, I, you, you say this and I don't like that. Okay. We've covered this before. A lot of these women think that their feelings is the most important thing. Feelings trump anything. She accused Mr. Samuels of only critiquing black women. And when he shows her a couple videos of women saying that the reason that they got married was because was following Mr. Samuel's teachings, she said, yeah, that's fine. And then she just dismisses it as quickly as she acknowledged it because that evidence that he presented was contrary to what she already feels. She had no need for it and just discarded it. But the bigger point is that she didn't come here to have an adult conversation. She came just to be right because she doesn't like the things that he say and how it makes her feel. She looked extra dusty as well. She gave me Snoop from The Wire vibes. Next clip. Okay, how old are you? 23. 23. Okay. Excuse me? How old are you? Bruh. 53. <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh-huh. Look, she's a cute enough girl, but goddamn that chin, bro. I used to watch a movie when I was a little kid in the 80s called Tango and Cash. She reminds me of the villain from that movie. Real badass cops. <laughs> you don't look so tough now, do you? Do you, you fuck? Single or you married? Not married. So you were single. Any children? So how important is sex in a relationship to you for a long-term relationship? Marriage. Uh, I, it's up there, but it's not that important. I mean, on a scale of one to ten, how high does it rank? And you cannot use seven. Six. So six, a D average. Yeah. Okay, so if you had sex and you had an orgasm. One out of every 10 times, one out of, very infrequently, you'd be, you'd be happy with, you'd be okay with that. It's not that important to me. Like, okay, I'm just asking. Uh, do you want to have, do you want to be married one day? Yeah, sure. Sure? Yeah. Why do you say sure? Because, I mean, what? like being with someone for a long time and you know being with someone for a long time and then being put on paperwork that you know being on a paper yeah. okay hold on man you broke up a little bit being with somebody for a long time and being put on paperwork what does mm -hmm. that mean in a legal contract like what what makes like the marriage so official and what makes the relationship just a boyfriend girlfriend what, is, what did your father say what you say? What does your dad say? Um, I haven't asked. I haven't asked this question. Were your mother and father married? No. Not to each other. Married. How many children does your mother have? Four. How many different fathers? 
Trigger alert. Enough. <laughs> Two. I mean, I'm not, I'm not playing. So. Okay, but uh, why is that? Why is that? Why is that? Because you're on my show. <laughs> and right. I ask the same question. So if you don't want to do that, I'll just bid you a good night. I've already allowed you to be a little sassy, but that's okay. I, trust me, I don't think you want to go the other way. So let's just do this the reasonable way. We could. Bruh. We could. Not really. I don't have to. We could, though. Could. But no, yeah. but see, you're I, not, it's not that important. It's not that like important. It. It's not that important. See, what I want you to understand is so many young women, young black women like her are so lost. Cause they're so angry. That's why when she came on here with that big grin, I'm like, okay, here we got with another grown teenager. Fuck. To where you can't even have a conversation with a 23 year old woman. It's gonna be some sort of bullshit. And they think that it'll make them look funny. Huh? So many of so many women play too much. Let me tell you something. Uh, whoever your name is, life ain't playing with none of y'all. You can think it's a game, but it ain't. Couldn't agree with Mr. Sanders more, especially when he was speaking about the second young lady and a lot of our women being adult teenagers. Arrested development. A lot of our women, unfortunately, just haven't grown up and they have the ability to do so because women have the luxury of not having to take life seriously. Whether you have Snoop Dogg from The Wire on the first clip, who just called in to argue with Mr. Samuels, or you have old Big Chin McGee in the second clip, when she got triggered when he asked how many men did her mother have children by. In regards to the second woman, even before Mr. Samuels said it, I was noticing her movement, the way she couldn't really sit still. It was more something that you would see in a preteen or maybe a teenager, not a young woman who's in her early 20s, but hey, what the hell do I know? I just smoke weed and make terrible YouTube videos. You guys let me know what you think. I have to party in the comments. My name is Theo Coop, but you can call me bitch. Do that. Uh, excuse me, bitches?